This is video 5-1A by myself, Adam George. Each of these nails and screws can be seen as an OTU, or Operational Taxonomic Unit. My phylogenetic tree is a rooted tree. This is because we can see that there is an outgroup that the rest of the OTUs can be compared to to infer the order of divergence. The nail is the outgroup because it diverged earliest from the rest of the screws. These long vertical lines represent anagenesis. This is evolution through time for a single lineage. There is no divergence into multiple species. Each of these internal nodes represent cladogenesis. This is when a single lineage diverges into two species. The earliest divergence is between nails and screws, making nails our outgroup. This is because the nails have no threads, unlike the rest of the screws. Later on, we see the divergence between the pointed tip and the flat tip phenotypes. The flat tip phenotypes diverge once more into two separate phenotypes. The Allen wrench head and the Phillips head. All six of these screws had their most recent common ancestor here at this node. The most recent common ancestor had to have had a pointed tip since all six of these also have a pointed tip. The two separate phenotypes at this node are long and short. The long screws also diverge once more into the gray colored and the yellow colored OTUs. The short lineage diverged here into flathead and non-flathead screws. The flathead screws diverged once more into the metallic OTUs that are both short and pointed tip and also the plastic OTU that is flathead, short, and pointed tip. The non-flathead screws evolved into two separate species, the rounded head and the loop head screws. However, we also see that non-flathead phenotype evolved separately in the flat tip screws. Both of these also have rounded heads. However, these non-flathead screws diverged earlier from the flat tip because they had the pointed tip. These are my citations. Thank you. The end.